to thank you because these are things that have been happening in this nation uh, things that you have been speaking from day one 2022 till today and I want to thank you because in the spirit realm everything is settled we are waiting for the results these are just manifestation of what has been happening in the spirit realm And I want to thank you because of your promise. I want to thank you. I want to thank you. I want to thank you for my followers. I pray for peace. I pray for peace that our faith will not be tossed. Our faith will not be shaken by the circumstances and and repercussions and manifestation of what has been happening in the spirit realm. We shall not be moved because we know what you have spoken to us will come to pass. I want to hide Gen Z. I want to hide them in the blood of Jesus. I want to cover them. I want to pray for them. I want to pray for peace that passes man's understanding. I want to pray for their parents. I want to pray for those that have lost their loved ones. Lord, may the peace of Jesus become their portion. May you encourage them. May you encourage them. Many of them have died because they are fighting for rights. Father, I thank you. Peace that passes man's understanding. 
Thank you Father for the intercessors. Thank you for your encouragement because we are still going to persist in prayer. We are still going to stand in the gap. Thank you for the body of Christ. Thank you for the government. We will not be tired of praying for this nation. These are forces and these forces have been nullified. We have dealt with this in the spirit realm. We are waiting for the manifestation of your light. In the beginning I spoke, the beginning of this year, in the prophecy I told the Kenyans that we pray for the month of March. We pray for the month of August because the devil will fight what you want to do in this nation concerning the economy. Father God, I thank you and I bless you because you are God. Thank you in Jesus' name. Amen, amen. What a wonderful day to meet with you. I know there is no peace in the spirit realm. And as I began and as uh, I've been speaking to you this month, that when you hear or when you see that in the spirit realm the heavens are quiet, there is judgment that is on the way and the heaven is looking and watching and seeing what the devil is planning to do. But we are not moved, we are not shaken. These are the manifestations in the physical. Remember, we have been praying since 2020, and 2022 I gave a prophecy of what is happening now. And I say I see darkness in this nation, I see riots, you know, I see disagreement between Ruto and the deputy president. And I pray that I prayed and we prayed that there will be peace. Now, what is happening? It is the manifestation of what has been happening in the spirit realm. And uh, we will see the results. I want to encourage the fathers, the mothers, the parents that have lost their beloved ones, husbands and wives. May God show you mercy. May he comfort you because it is only God who can do it. Amen. And I want to hide this generation Z. I want to hide them, all of them. I want to cover their lives, their destinies. And I pray that grace will continue resting upon them. And we are proud of you. Amen. We are proud of you. And we are glad that we give birth to sons and daughters who can stand and refuse, who can stand and say no, who can stand and defend their rights. You have made us proud. Amen. And God is proud because you are also fighting the battles of God. Amen. As we fight these battles in prayers, you, you are fighting it and God is going to show you mercy and to bless your lives. Amen. Now, many of you are waiting to hear what I'm about to say. Many of you have been asking me, woman of God, what is God saying? These are things that have been manifesting. But I want to assure you something. The month of August will have to be what God has said. I went back to the Lord and asked him, what about the month of August? And this is, uh, and this is what he said, a big tick than before. Yes, and I, the Lord helped me to see from June the, the graph of the economy, which is the economy of Kenya, I will not call it finance bill because the Lord has been calling it economy. And it was just going up. It was going up. The month of uh, June, the month of June, I saw the graph in the spirit realm. And July, you know, it was so high, the cost of life. And then August, it was flat, August, October, November, December, upwards, I don't know up to when. So the month of August, God will still preserve what he said. So I don't know what will happen between June and uh, August for the cost to go down. I don't know, but what I know, we need to pray for the month of July very, 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 very much. Amen. And God will never lie. Amen. These are things God has been speaking to us. 2022, I see darkness filling the nation of Kenya. I see riots, you know. 
And we took it for granted, but we thank God. God works in his own way. If our boys, our girls are the ones that God is going to use this generation, see, if God is going to use them as we pray, we thank God. We only need to pray for them. Amen. Do you have my number? I'm, I'm even feeling hard to give out my number because many of our hearts are down. But this is something the Lord told me. I would have forgotten. I put it down when I was praying. And he said, hold on unto your faith. Shakers will come but hold on into your faith. I hope my editor will put it down there. Hold on unto your faith. Shakers will come, but hold on unto your faith. Amen. So we are going to hold on unto our faith, even when shakers are coming and shakeups are coming and the month of August is safe in the hands of God. Do you have my number? Do you feel woman of God I want to call you? Woman of God, you are a blessing to us. Woman of God, we have believed what you have been saying and we have always believed in you. And I would want just to say, God bless you and long life and preservation because of leading us in prayers in the national prayer altar. This is my number 0746-553-997. My account number, as uh, you partner with me, support me in the ministry, it is uh, 400-222. My account number is 173-9983 hash, and God is going to bless you. Amen. I've taken more time because I was explaining. We are going to pray for the Generation Z. Amen. That God will keep them, God will preserve them, God will watch over their lives. And the devil, the force that is behind the finance bill, you know, will not succeed in the name of Jesus Christ. Amen. Now, I want us to go to Psalms chapter 16. It is an easy one for us, verses 1. Preserve me, O God. For in you do I put my trust. Preserve me, O God. For in you do I put my trust. There is a scripture in the book of Luke. The Bible says that they looked for Jesus. They wanted to kill Jesus, but Jesus disappeared. Amen. Jesus disappeared. I've heard that scripture has come into my spirit. They wanted to finish him. Luke chapter 4. Jesus just entered into the temple and he read the scripture. The Bible says in chapter 4, today we are just talking and praying, talking, helping, encouraging ourselves because we have been told that we should not lose our faith because of shakers. Now, chapter 4, verse 18, the Bible says, And the Spirit of the Lord is upon me because he has anointed me to preach the gospel to the poor. He has sent me to heal the brokenhearted, to preach deliverance to the captivities and recovering of sight to the blind, to set at liberty them that are bruised. 19. To preach the acceptable ear of the Lord. Acceptable ear of the Lord. I'm still remembering what the Lord said about this year. Arise and shine. Arise and shine. Anything that is born of prayer will be sustained by prayer. Everything or any person, any destiny, God never lie. I'm seeing preachers saying that many, many take care. I don't want to enter there. People are saying, you cannot change. It's not us who put the president there. It is God. We cannot change the circumstance. We cannot change the situation. We cannot. We cannot. God will never it's just these battles are there and we need to pray. Remember what I told you, that we pray that the president will make right decisions. Amen. Yes, we'll make right decisions. Now, the Bible says that, and he closed, verse 20, he closed the book and he gave it again to the minister and sat down and the eyes of all of them that were in the synagogues were fastened on him. Amen. 
he was preaching. He took the Bible. He preached. And the Bible says they were annoyed and they wanted to kill him. Now, when you look in verses 29, the Bible says, And rose up and thrust him out of the city and led him to the bro of the hill whereon their city was built, that they might cast him down headlong. But he, passing through the midst of them, went his way. Amen. Went his way. God just helped him to overcome. We are going to pray for this young man. We are going to pray for them that God is going to watch over them. Amen. Psalms 91 is a scripture that we all know. We are dealing with that. Amen. The Bible says in verses 10 and verses 11, There shall no evil befall you, neither shall any plague come near your dwelling. For he shall give his angels charge over you to keep you in all your ways. Amen. We are going to ask the Lord to hide this generation. Hide them. The Gen Z, let us hide them. Hide their ministries. Hide their career. Hide their visions. Hide their calling. Amen. Hide their destinies. Amen. Jeremiah 36, 26. The Bible says that when the king was looking for Baruch and Jeremiah to kill them, God hid them. Amen. God hid them. That scripture will be put down. We are going to tell God, Jeremiah 36, 26. We are going to tell the Lord, Father, hide our children. In Jesus' name. Reko talaba shatarabesi. Rembe zute liba tadabade. Reka talaba zete riparapeza. Ramba bo shatalabe zaleba. Rakata rabaze. Reposita, Reba Shanta, Perete, Parato, hide Gen Zin, hide them, my father, hide their destinies, hide their lives. Rebe Telebeda, Rapa Zota Rabade, Raiba Tiamante Besia, Rapo Pozata Labade, Mareba Zoto Lobodea, hide them, hide them, hide their lives. My Father, show Kenya mercy, show this nation mercy, show Gen Zin mercy, show Kenyans mercy. Shele patarabe, raba zetelebede, mandala beza rabadea, rantala beza talabia, maraba zotalabe, shalabe, marapa talemade. Masi, 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 Sharabada, Marebede, Shandalabe, Mandarabe, I cover them, Rebede, Zantarabe, the Bible says in Psalms, Repropazia, Rantalabade, Psalms chapter, Marabade, Zentarebede, 140, Psalms chapter 140 and verses 7. O God, the Lord, the strength of my salvation, you have covered my head in the day of trouble. Repe posada, you have covered my head in the days of battle. Cover the Gen Z, cover them in the days of trouble. Cover them such a time. Cover the doctors, the nurses. Cover Sharabada, Kaya, Turabadia. Cover the Nekenyans. Reposotolobua. In Jesus' name. Psalms 140, verse 7. The Bible says, O God, the Lord, the strength of my salvation, you have covered my head in the day of battle. Psalms 140 and verses 7. I want us to go to the word of God in the book of Job. The few minutes that are remaining, we are asking God for mercy. This is a scripture we have been reading and praying in the house of prayer for the nation of Kenya. The Bible says it is a broad one. I don't know, but we are going to make it. Now chapter 14, verse 1, Job 14, 1. Man, the man that is born of a woman is of few days and full of trouble. That one, it is, it is Job. Job was going through a hard time and he discovered that life is short. Life is short. A woman has given birth to him and now he's getting lost. He's dying because he was sick. He had come to an end just like we have come to the end in this nation. 
But remember what we are told by the Lord that we keep on to our faith. I want to be precise because I want just as the Lord said it. Hold on unto your faith. Shakers will come, but hold on into your faith. Amen. Don't be tossed. Don't be tossed. Let us stand with our faith, the faith that God has spoken to us. And and Job got to a point that he felt that man has a short life. He did not see. There was so much darkness. The wife have left him. You know, the children have died. Animals have died. His riches is gone. Friends are just talking and criticizing him. But there were scriptures ahead. There was something, chapter 40, 41, 42, where God was preparing for restoration and the wife came back. His friends that we are criticizing him because darkness had left, light has come, they came to bless him and made him rich. Amen. That is what God has been doing and he's going to do that. Amen. Now, he comes forth like a flower and is cut down. People will see a flower, the glory of Kenya, the glory of our young children. These are children we have given birth to. These are children that are of, of, of age. These are children that their lives is just going down, you know. And it is a flower. It is glory. And the Bible says that a flower, he comes forth like a flower and is cut down. Now, this is somebody's glory. The nation of Kenya, economy and whatever. In heaven is not calling it finance bill. Heaven is calling it economy. Yes, on my side. And the flower is removed. Now, when a flower has no beauty, nobody has interest in it. And listen, the Bible says he flees also as a shadow and continues not. Nobody is bothered about your glory. When your glory is taken away, when the glory of Kenya is taken away and it will not because we are standing in the gap, then we stop, we stagnate, no progress. Poverty comes in, the enemy attacks. Amen. Listen, and do you open your eyes upon such a one and bring me to judgment with you? This thing that the glory is going, this person that the glory is dead, this person that the honor is gone, do they have somebody who can defend them? Do they have somebody who can plead for mercy? You can, who can bring a clean thing out of the unclean? Not one. Now, who will uproot the enemies of the glory of the nation of Kenya? Who will uproot the enemies of the glory of Gen Z, our children, their destiny? Who will? Only God. The Bible says, seeing his days are determined and number of his months are with you. You have appointed his bonds that he cannot pass. That those in authority, they have held the captive. They have held us. They have held this generation into bondage that they can not do anything. That is why they are rioting. That they have no voice. That is why they are using riots as a voice. Anger is coming out. Amen. Because their lives are in somebody or a few people holding their destinies and the glory of this nation. The Bible says, I can teach, but I'm not teaching because of time. Turn from him that he may rest. He shall, he shall accomplish as a hiring of the. In other words, we are going to ask the Lord, Father, show us mercy. Remove the unclean. Remove that which wants to steal the glory of this nation, the glory of our children the glory of the body of Christ, the glory in this government. Amen. For there is hope in verse 7 of a tree, if it be cut down, that it will sprout again, and that the tender branch therefore will not cease. Whatever will happen in this nation, the month of August is preserved. The economy, the word of God is true. The word of God will never lie. The word of God well, you have seen God has spoken to me things, they have come to pass. Will he fail to bring the month of August, the graph August, of July, very high and very sharp, but from August. So we have to pray this, this 30 days. We have to pray for the month of July. Now we are going to ask God for mercy, mercy, mercy in this nation for the three, five minutes that are remaining. Mercy, 
Father, we are asking you for mercy. Preserve the glory of the nation of Kenya. Preserve the glory of the Gen Z. Preserve the glory of the body of Christ. Preserve the glory of the nation of Kenya. Preserve the glory of the government. Marapo Shalabada. Rekete de Bazuka Talabadia. I plead for mercy. Forgive our iniquity. Forgive our transgressions. Repo Zatalabade. Reko Talabadia. Reba Zete Rebede. Raba Zota Lebara Bresi. Raka Talaba Zete Rebede. Rebo Zita Libara Brosha. Reke Telebeze. Reba Zota Labade. Shanda Labeza Labade. Reba Zota Libara Bezi. Repa Zota Libara Bade. Mori Palita Labeza Labada. Rai Bandele Biza Labada. Reke Telebo Zali Barabada. Mareba Zetelebede. Mareba Zetelebede. Masi Repe Zuta Labe. Maraba Shatarabade. Mareba Zetelebede. Masi 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 Marabada Marebade Sharabadia Malabadia Rebediada Peretalaba Masi Masi Shokenya Masi I plead for mercy I plead for mercy I plead for mercy I plead for mercy in Jesus name Father, in the name of Jesus Christ, I am pleading for mercy. I am praying for mercy. Mercy, mercy, mercy. Mercy, Lord. Show us mercy because you are God. Show us mercy. I cover the nation of Kenya with the blood of Jesus. And I pray that, Father, you are going to control the mind of the president of the nation of Kenya. I pray that you are going to watch over the genzim that you have given to us their destinies, their lives, their lives, O oh God. Preserve them and keep them because you are God. In Jesus' name, amen. Always remember that where there is a prophet, there is a testimony. And by the hand of Apostle Damaris, signs and wonders and miracles are your portion today. God bless you. Amen. Mm -hmm.